What's going on guys, Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we have 99 Ty Cobb making his debut. Feel free to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you guys are new. In the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on the finest cards. The first set that they revealed yesterday, I believe at the time that you guys are seeing this, they should have revealed some of them or something like that. At the time of recording this, they're not out yet. I don't know anything about them, but I'm curious to see when they come out what your guys' thoughts are down in that comment section feel free to follow on any of the social media sub to the fortnite channel if you guys want to down in that description and thank you so much to our channel members for the extra support before we hop into this game we can just take a look at his stats here 125 for both of the contacts along with that 125 vision some solid power like it looks low okay 81 and 82 is really solid for power it just looks low compared to the 125s in contact and vision and then he has some good field and good reaction not a great arm out there in left field is where we have him today along with 98 speed 99 stealing and 99 base running aggressiveness diamond hitter and fielder we're playing the united states stars and stripes our opponent has 99 roberto alomar griffey mays garrick hornsby brett pudge gwen and nolan ryan on the mound we have 99 bob gibson on the mound he pitched our last ranked seasons game for us had the complete game one run outing hopefully he could do the same maybe even get that shutdown here today as we're the home team ty cobb one handed grab here in his debut you don't see that too often willie mays no two down with a two and two count here top of the first inning he's able to send it the other way with a base hit a single that brings up lou gehrig here Lou Gehrig flying out. Very next, next pitch we throw. There we go. Just like that, we're going to the bottom of the first. Ty Cobb going to be getting his first at bat for the team. He's due up third. Ty Cobb first at bat. Look at that. It's a single. Getting himself on base. Two down. Bottom of the first. 98 speed. I could try stealing. We need to try to get something, though. That's going to score him and get him home. We're stealing. Willie Mays watching it. It's a ball. Ty Cobb easy stolen base here for him in his debut. Willie Mays up the middle. Come on, get through. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, Hornsby making a nice play. Bounce throw. Brett able to field it. After one, we're still tied 0-0. Yo, I thought we were going to get it. I was so ready to be like, dun -dun 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 -dun. make that insane dive and play, but not quite. And that's going to be another two-ounce base hit for our opponent. Going to try to do what we did in the first inning, not let him get across the score. Tony Gwynn, number eight hitter up. I'm tempted to kind of pitch around him here. I want to make sure, you know, I'm not giving him anything to hit because if he gets a base hitter, he gets a walk, like just a single or just gets the first base, the pitcher spot comes up. And I would much rather pitch to Nolan Ryan than Tony Gwynn here. And that's ball four to Tony Gwynn. I'm okay with that. Let's try to get Nolan Ryan out to end the inning. And striking out Nolan Ryan, getting out of the inning. He might be safe. Yeah, Tony Gwynn in there, infield single for him. Rogers Hornsby up the middle. No double play. He's going to not even get one. Back to back lucky plays for us. Cal Ripken Jr. follows it with a hit into the outfield. It's dropping. It's dropping. Let's go. Cal Ripken Jr. Coming through in the clutch. It's going to be safe at home. Two run score as we take a two to nothing lead with Bob Gibson coming up to bat now. Oh, wow. Yo, I thought Cal was going to field it. Man, I'm assuming I, I'm assuming Cal is going to be doing everything today. And I think I'm putting a little bit too much on him. That's another two-ounce base hit for our opponent. Stealing curveball. That's going to score the run, man. Perfect hit and run. Cutting the lead in half. Not a great pitch. I hung the curveball. And it's going to cut our lead in half. Two to one now. Rogers Hornsby. Come on, Tony. You got this. Tony Gwynn catching it. We allowed one run in the inning. The shutdown's gone. And maybe Bob Gibson can get through the next six innings and not allow any other runs. Have it be just like last time. We at the top of our lineup. Ty Cobb going to be getting a second at bat here in this inning. I'm hoping we have a few more guys on than last time because we had zero at last time. And I'm starting the inning with a check swing, fly out, pop out. Ty Cobb striking out, man. I tried to check my swing. You guys know those inside pitches. It's a little bit hard to check your swing on them. I, should, I, I had no business even attempting to swing, but... It happened. We struck out, and now that's a leadoff single here in the top of the fourth inning. Pudge, double play ball. Let's go. Look at that beautiful double play by Row Your Boats. Oh, Alomar out there at second. Let's go. 
Tony Gwynn, we walked him last time. I should have walked him this time. Game is tied. Two to two, two down, top of the fourth. Mike Piazza the other way. Drop it in for a ground rule double. Willie Mays, warning track shot, dead center field. I think he hit it like 99 off the bat. It was pretty much about the same contact as that. And couldn't quite get a base hit. It would have been nice because I think we would have scored the run there, but we don't want to dwell on the past. We got a one and one count to Tony Gwynn. One down, go ahead, run in scoring position. Wild pitch, runners advancing to third. A deep fly ball gives us the lead. That's what we need from you, Tony. Let's get it into the outfield at least. Tony Gwynn, look at that, into the outfield, and he's getting himself a base hit, and we take the lead. Let's go. Still only one down. Hornsby, no double play at least. I would assume, right? Wow. Man, I didn't think it was hit hard enough. I legit thought that was just not hit hard enough with this 81 speed. Maybe I thought he was a little bit faster than he was. Top of the fifth inning with a lead now. Hopefully we don't blow it again as that's another base hit for our opponent. I don't think I have a hitless inning yet. So I got to start pitching a little bit better, maybe even warm some guys up in the bullpen just in case we get into more trouble. I'm happy with the sinker. Probably should have had it left or right a little bit more so he couldn't send it up the middle. Striking out Griffey looking. I don't think he expected a pitch in the zone, 0-2. He's stealing sinker down low. We got him easily, Piazza. I messed up my throw. The one time I actually have the runner, I mess up my throw, man. I'm disappointed. Willie Mays, grounder. That's huge. Runner doesn't advance, and we get out number two. Lou Gehrig, two-run home run, man. I'm not pitching well today, guys. Dang. And the lead is with our opponent. I throw another pitch down the middle. We give up another home run, man. I'm so mad at myself right now for doing that. And that's another two-round base hit given up by us. Following the home run, let's really hope that we don't allow any more runs here. We can just get to the bottom half of the inning. George Brett popping out to the catcher. Dang, man. So if I would have had him on that stolen base, we might have been out of the inning with a lead still. If I just would not have messed up my throw, I think that was in that inning. Either way, man, I threw a pitch down the middle. And if we wouldn't have done that, we might have been out of the inning as well. So Sucks to suck. Can't dwell on the pass. So like I said, we got to forget about it and try to be better now. Nolan Ryan with a base hit, man. And Ken Griffey Jr. flying out, so we're getting out of trouble. Ty Cobb with his second base hit of the day. He's two for three. 98 speed on first. We could steal if he wanted to. Something into the gap could pretty easily score him. Willie Mays into the outfield, out number two. Mike Piazza waiting on that one. It's gone. We take the lead. Let's go. Avo Taco into the streets. Let's go, baby. Mike Piazza. With the two run game leading home run. Tony Gwynn back to back home runs. Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, that makes me happy, guys. Extending our lead to two. Rogers Hornsby tried to make it back to back to back. Hit it pretty well, just straight to that left field around there. Probably not a little bit, uh, probably not enough underneath that one. And we're here in the top of the seventh. I was about to say, uh, Billy Mays on the mound. Billy Wagner <laughs> on the mound right here. Wade Davis facing Cal Ripken Jr. Welcome into the ball game. First pitch he throws is another home run. Another one in it to the streets as we extend our lead to three. Kyle Schwarber with the pinch hit base hit. Nobody down. Runner on first. Let's try to make it count. I'm probably going to bring in a pinch runner here. Let's see who we have. I guess I could put Ricky Henderson in there. Roberto Alomar follows the base hit with a warning track. No, it's gone. Let's go. Another home run. This one from Alomar. We extend the lead to five. Frank Thomas. Wow. Oh, yo, what? Bruh. Griffey, what happened? I think Griffey must have got him blinded by the sun. I don't know what he was doing out there. That brings up Ty Cobb again. Oh, my goodness, man. That's unfortunate right there. Uh, wow. I did not expect that to happen. Our opponent, no, they bring in Andrew Miller. 
Aw, uh, Ty Cobb has to face a lefty now. He's been good for me today, though. Two for three. I've heard a lot of good things about Ty Cobb. We're facing the sixth series. Miller, if you guys have used Ty Cobb, you've faced Ty Cobb. What are your thoughts on him? I've heard a lot of good things. I haven't heard too much bad besides his arm. And ball four to Ty Cobb. Drawing a walk. He's on base again for Willie Mays, who is 0 for 3 today. Willie Mays just missing. This one's not going to be a home run, right? There, there's no way. Yeah, Willie Mays just missing a home run. He's 0 for 4 today. We're going to have runners on the corners with only one down here for Mike Pizza. Ty Cobb stealing. Hit and run. No double play. Wait, it's a line out. It is a double play. Yo, I did. <laughs> oh, man, I felt like I was on top of that one a little bit, but not a huge deal. And we're winning by five. Johnny Ventures coming in, facing the lefty George Brett, trying to get us to the bottom of the eighth inning, still with a lead. <laughs> uh, Frank Thomas, first pitch I throw in the ninth inning. It's a solo home run. That brings over Berto Alomar. And we're only winning by four now. Johnny Ventures on the mound. He had a one, two, three. Okay, I will say this. He had a one, two, three, uh, top of the eighth inning. And then now he's getting the first down in the ninth. And I wanted to say, I wanted to mention that. I was waiting until something happened, like a home run, to mention that it's still kind of funny to me that at this point in the year, with how many cards there are in the game, and probably what I even have on my team and in my inventory, I'm still using an 81 overall reliever in my bullpen. But he just, he's been, like, my most consistent, besides Billy Wagner. Billy Wagner has been phenomenal ever since I got him. But besides Billy Wagner, he's been my most reliable left-handed reliever. I'm, I love this 81 Johnny Ventures card, and I, I can't think of anybody that I would replace him with that I've used. Now, there's plenty of guys that I haven't used that I would probably be, you know, fine with replacing him, but just not ones that I have in my inventory, on my team, or maybe even in the game, and I'm trying to think, but... He's, done, he's been amazing for me, and we're winning the game, probably getting above 700, probably making division series now, hopefully continuing a winning streak that will last a while and get us into World Series division. Yo, Dark GG's, man. I appreciate the love. Guys, if you match up against me, like, I definitely understand being nervous. Like, I, like there's no need to be nervous. I'm just a regular person. I want to make that clear, but I definitely understand it. Like, if I match up against someone that I know, like, if I recognize one of you guys from the comments or someone that I've played before or like a Twitch viewer of mine, another YouTuber, a friend of mine, like whatever it may be. If, if I recognize the name, then I get nervous. So I completely understand that nerves thing, but I just wanted to say there's no reason to be nervous or anything. Uh, I'm just some regular guy. I'm not that great at this game. I'm, I'm kind of trash at, uh, at pitching especially, but GG's Dark, that was a great game, man. I really do appreciate the love. If you're watching this video, hopefully you love watching yourself in it. Thank you so much. That really just continues to make me happy receiving stuff like this so thank you so much let's go ahead and see what our rating went up by like i said i think we should be above 700 now i'm pretty sure hopefully we're above 700 i think now we're going to be playing hopefully on hall of fame difficulty instead of all-star but our opponent also has to be above 700 as well but we're 710 that gets us to 190 away from a world series division we still have a little bit of a ways to go you know we still got we, we still got some you know just a little bit and the season's over here in not too long so i'm definitely gonna have to play a little bit off you know recording and get closer for you guys if you all enjoyed the video though be sure to leave a like subscribe comment anything down below all that good stuff down in the description i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day peace out